Hey, hi, and welcome back. All right, this is part nine. We have acquired an LS engine. I uh, ran across this engine on the Face Space Marketplace. Uh, went and looked at it. Bought it that day. It came out of a 2007 Avalanche. And running the numbers, I've got an LM7 iron block with uh, 706 heads. So here I'm just going to put the engine on a stand and drain the oil and, and take the filter off, drain the filter, and then put the plug and the filter back on just to keep the leaks out. Just get the mess down a little bit. My original intention was not to start tearing down the engine. Uh, I wanted to made up the transmission and go ahead and just set it in the car. However, when I drained the oil out, there was a little bit of water in there, a few ounces. That's what came out first. Uh, noticed there was some on the knock sensor, on the back knock sensor too. Uh, so I'd, I'd soaked it up and, and one of the valves i soaked up the water in it when I got it, and then I shot everything down with blaster. So here I am. I decided to tear the passenger side head off. Uh, I couldn't get the valley pan out because of that back knock sensor. That thing is really crusty. It's soaking in blaster right now, and I had prior uh, to today I would soaked it. Um, it's just really crusty, so it's probably had water sitting in there for a little bit. This engine, I'm told, ran. I saw videos of it running, but you know how that goes. That could have been anything. Um, so that's me tearing it down. Uh, this is my first LS. I've got a book. <laughs> I've watched a lot of videos, but I still bag and tag everything. I've got to look up. I can't remember if these are torque to yield head bolts or not. Uh, I just put them in a bag. I'll probably replace them all anyway. So here I'm looking for signs of a blown head gasket, which I think is probably, uh, hopefully, what happened. I don't know. Uh, not really seeing signs on this side. I can't get the driver's side head off yet because I've got a stuck manifold bolt. Uh, so I keep shooting it, but it's it's trying to round off. those The, the passenger side bolts came off pretty easy. Again, I put PB Blaster on them for three days. And this, uh, the driver's side, all of them but one is uh, came out with no problem. And this one is just starting to round off the edge. So I've got to figure out how to get that one out of there, too. If you've got any good ideas, let me know. Same with that knock sensor. I'll show you a picture of that here in a minute. That knock sensor is just a 22 millimeter socket, took out the front one with ease. The back one, 22, just kind of spun around it. Put a 21 on it and it fit a little tighter uh, and then it just started to round off so i got to the next size down imperial and tapped it on and it's uh it feels like it started to round off so i went ahead and just soaked it down with blaster i've hit it twice already tonight had some other new parts come in a full set of brake lines front rear and even up to the booster uh from inline tube uh, i've Got, uh, let's see, I got some banjo bolts with that and a new prop valve. And then I've already got new soft lines for the front and I've started cleaning up the old calipers. The old calipers and brake pads were actually, like, although dirty and crusty, were in pretty good shape. They didn't look that old. So I got a caliper rebuild kit and I'm just going to knock the crust off of everything, clean them, paint them, knock the crust off the pads and put that all back together. That's it for tonight. Have a good weekend.